So I found a job working as a drug detailer. I would explain pharmaceuticals to the physicians. And I went into a doctor's office and the doctor asked me, is this what you want to do with it for the rest of your life? And I really thought about that and said, no, this is not what I want to do for the rest of my life. I want to change the world. I really want to be a person that would bring justice to this world. So I decided I was going to go to school and become a lawyer. While I was in school, I decided also that I wanted to see America. I wanted to go off to see America, as Paul Simon and Garfunkel said. And so uh, I traveled cross country to look for America. We were pretty well off as a family, and so outwardly I had everything a person could ask for. And yet within my very being, within my very heart was a restlessness. Uh, uh, I was depressed. I was frustrated. I, I was looking for peace. Um, I never had any long-term happiness. I didn't know where happiness could be found. I looked for it all kinds of places. And probably the thing that drove me most to, to uh, distraction, to, to be completely upset, was the lack of justice in this world. I was really upset by that. Uh, that's why I wanted to become a lawyer, was I thought that maybe through law I could bring justice to this world. So I'm traveling cross country to see America. I come to this small town in Wisconsin. Actually, it wasn't that small. La Crosse, Wisconsin, right on the Mississippi River. I decided I was going to spend the night there, hang out, and make a mighty crossing of the Mississippi River. Jewish kid from New York crossing the Mississippi River. Going to the to the city and there are a lot of bars in this town and I was asked to jam with this band playing my harmonica, New Yorker playing blues harmonica and there was a girl there, just absolutely beautiful, blonde hair, blue eyes, uh, a Wisconsin Dairy Queen. That's uh, all I could think of. I mean she was just beautiful and moreover she was fascinated with me. She thought I was great. Every story I told, she laughed at. She was just wonderful, um, kind, gracious. And then she introduced me to her friends. They were all Jesus freaks. Jesus. So these Christians started telling me about Jesus. That was the last thing in the world I wanted to hear. I mean, as far as I was concerned, anybody who loved Jesus hated Jews. And I would, I love to argue. I was going to be a lawyer, right? So I came up with every argument why Jesus couldn't possibly be the only way. And with every argument, they'd show me in the Bible there was where this was so and this was so. And finally, I said, you know what? I'm Jewish. I figured that would end the discussion. He said, you're Jewish. Hallelujah! Our Messiah is Jewish. Our Bible's Jewish. If it weren't for the Jewish people, we wouldn't have a Bible or a Messiah. I never had a response like that before. So as these guys are sharing, I'm thinking to myself, you know, I was trained in Judaism. I mean, I, I, I knew the, the the prayers, and I mean, I, I was bar mitzvahed in the Orthodox tradition, and yet here we're. Gentiles who knew more about the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, more about my God than I did. And I thought to myself, what are these Gentiles doing with my God? They were on a first name basis with him, it seemed. And that just confused me. So they said to me, you ask God, the God of Israel, if Jesus isn't the Messiah. I just wanted to get out of the conversation. I had enough of these guys. So I said, okay. And I muttered something under my breath as I was walking out the door. And I figured that would be that. Well, I went from there to uh, continue on my journey cross country. And I just couldn't get that girl out of my mind. A couple of weeks later, I was in California. I, would, I figured, boy, I would find 
more girls. But there was never anyone like her. I had to go back. So I get to Wisconsin, and I reconnect with Joanne and her friends. And they start sharing with me about the New Testament. And actually, I began reading in the book of Matthew. And as I read Matthew, I was just blown away. It, it begins with, this is the genealogy of Jesus, the Messiah, the son of Abraham, the son of David. The more I read Matthew, the more Jewish it appeared. I mean, I always thought that the New Testament was like, you know, it was just craziness and certainly not related to anything Jewish. And yet, the, the, every page I was reading was Jewish. For the first time, I came to realize that, that Jesus was not Catholic. I had always thought he was Catholic. And as I read this, I, I, I was just amazed. So as I read in Matthew, I saw in Jesus, first of all, that he was Jewish and he was dealing with injustice. And yet, as horribly he was being treated, he was kind, he was gracious, and yet he continued to love. I was blown away by that. I'm looking for answers, I'm looking for life, I'm looking for love. I come to Wisconsin, I come to La Crosse, Wisconsin, and I find the answer to both, and both of them begin with the letter J. Jesus, the Jewish Messiah. And Joanne, a beautiful blonde. And now I have both. Since I've come to this relationship with God through Jesus, I've experienced incredible peace, incredible joy. I also have come to understand what life is all about and I'm able to share it with others. And I'm seeing the joy that I have is transferable to others. And I'm seeing other lives.